Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. We're gonna walk around, do some assessing here, and uh, make sure everything's okay. A lot of needles up on that roof. I gotta get them off of there. Um, got some stuff down. We're gonna take a ride too. This. This is just hanging there. It broke off, but the the uh, the vines kept it from falling right over my mini bike. Uh, pine tree branch here. This came down sometime last night. Last time I mowed. The belt blew off the tractor. I don't know if it's broke or if it just came off, but so I'm gonna have to get one ordered so when we get this cleaned up. <clears throat> the old boat. That's the Lady Sunshine there. And of course, palm fronds always come down. This tree, when we got together, I had to trim the palm, the fronds off of it to even mow around it. Now look at it. Amazing how that thing grew. <clears throat> Same way with that one. <clears throat> This is uh, technically our neighbor's yard here. That's their, what used to be their garden. That's actually mine. It must have came off the trailer when I was hauling that wood around back. Okay, so this tree's done. Still windy as you can probably hear. I don't know, this camera's amazing. More palm fronds. I came off of that limb right there. Uh, we did pretty good. We didn't lose power. It flickered many, many times. But the longest it was out was maybe one second. As you can see, the front yard's not too bad. Seen it worse. Poor old truck. It's going to be underneath that car part, car port soon. So there's some stuff up there. Not bad. I think all that will blow off with a blower. So we did very well. All right, guys. We can get in the car and drive around. And see what we can see. everyone we're in the truck we're gonna go for a little ride around see what we can see I had a comment said I have a dog that needs to be in more of my videos there he is Mike hey Bruno <laughs> he did I said yeah I said hey Mike I said he's in almost all of them you just gotta look for him he's like a real life where it's Waldo <laughs> what is that all about boat oh don't hit the boat. Here, you're clear. Go.
but so yeah we're gonna take a ride around but that's the Florida for you <laughs> oh there's a tree down in the neighbor's yard over here yeah oh over here yeah I saw it a big tree yeah half of it blew down yeah oh. I filmed it oh okay I did too <laughs> is it yeah so let's see what we got These yard always looks perfect. They're still running a generator. Yeah. Early this morning, Monkey was like, somebody's power's out. She heard generators all over the place. I went out listening and her generator's running all over. We didn't have to run ours. No. Nope. We never lost power, so. No. Nope. We did well. It this, they did pretty, I love that tree. I said that yesterday. Yeah. But we did pretty good this time, even here. Um, usually it gets bad through here, but seems like everybody did well. All right, guys, I'll kick you back on here in a minute. Okay, guys, so our neighborhood's pretty good. And what little bit that's down, most people's got cleaned up, so there wasn't a lot at all. So. We're heading over to, we're gonna take a John over to Crystal River and see what's going on over here. Cause we haven't been here since the last one, which was about two weeks ago. So we're gonna take a ride over here Crystal River and take a, take a gander and see what's going on over here. So um, I'll kick you back on when we get there. We're not that far, so this be a couple minutes for us, but for you, it'll be right now. Port Island Trail or something. Yeah. This was all underwater two weeks ago from the last one. See all the brown? That was from how high the water got. Mm -hmm. This is where we come to fish. Yeah, we fish over here. Way down there. Pretty good now. I don't think they really flooded too badly here. No, they did one. because look, you can see where the water was. It was up over this parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. We've been up here before and fished and uh, slept in the truck. Caught a good sunrise. We're going to go up here and check this out. It says the boat ramp is closed. So, so what's going on up here? Yeah. The road is closed. I'm not walking clear back there. It's not that far. I'm not walking clear back there. Mm -hmm. Road is closed. All blocked off. Must be still bad up in there. That's the beach. That's where the beach is. This we'll is where the beach is? Yeah, that's not where we went fishing. This is where oh, the beach is. Well, we'll turn around we'll go to the other one, okay? Alright, we'll go back to where we went fishing that one time. I guess this is the beach, but yeah. it's closed off, so... Okay, so that was the beach. That wasn't where we went fishing. So we're going to go there next. I wanted to show you this. Now this is not from this time. I think this was 
think this was from uh, two weeks ago. Looks older than that though, but last time we were out here, it wasn't like this, so. So yeah, we're going to go So we're going to go uh, We're going to go down where we went fishing To the other boat ramp There's three or four boat ramps down here Over here I should say We're going to go see what that's like So, colorful doors. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. up there flying around but I can't get them so this is where we went fishing we spent the night parked over there bunch of trees destroyed back in here yeah we parked right over there by that tree houses over here are all okay they're on stilts these places. <laughs> yeah, they're on stilts, monkey calls them stilts. A lot of bamboo there. I could use a whole bunch of that bamboo <laughs> growing there. Yeah. 
some of the bones over there that survived. That's not what it's still well. I don't know what the inside would be like, but they did slow the way. Something here, it's all gone now. Still got water up. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we're going to go check out a, an abandoned uh, strip mall right up the road here. Um, I think I showed it before in one of my videos, but it's been in several years. We're going to go check that out. It's looking pretty rough, but it I don't think anything happened to it from the hurricanes, but we're going to go check it out and we'll do a drive through.
place has been abandoned several years now. There was like a little restaurant right over there. They tore it down. Sods all coming down off of it. Yeah, I'd say this was from the storm. That's pretty fresh there. That's all put there for pickup. also one day this building right over here which one is it right there right back there is where I go get my INR checked from the blood work and I seen them there it is they blocked it off mm -hmm. there was a these are bees oh but I seen that door open over here we came around back here to see if it was still open. These are bees. Oh my god. Them all. Okay, so, wait a minute, what's this? There's no trespassing. I think but, it's storage unit. Yeah, but still, there's still a lot of bees flying around here. I'm not allergic, but monkey is. One bee in this car would not be good. So we'll just kind of drive around here. If I see an open door, we'll go in. Get that one boarded up now too. See, I should have went over that day. Yeah. Should have came over. I had my phone. Mm -hmm. I could have filmed, and those bees wasn't there. No. I'd say someone put them there to keep them safe because of the storm. Right. Oh. Yeah, these are all bolted shut. I thought we was going to get in one, but not now. Okay, well, anyway, there's that. Yeah, there used to be a restaurant right here, but they tore it down. This is from Helene. Helene. Yeah. This was all flooded. I found that out.
No, 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 no. A whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go check them out. Right now, we want to check out the uh, Airbnb we stayed in. This is where we stayed at in the Airbnb. So hopefully she can get a two bed. Alright. We'll cut through here. We'll go check those train cars out. This is all from two weeks ago. Yeah, I know. It's a shame. Mm hmm. You know, people work so hard, you know? Yeah. And it's just all taken away. But I mean, you know, if you live right on the coast because of water's, you know, what, a half a mile away. I mean, you, you know, you've got chances you're going to have to take. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, guys. We're going to look at these train cars. Yeah, I didn't even know they were here. I didn't either. We've never been back in this area, except the one time right back there, the thing, where we stayed at. Yeah. Foundation's still good. It's a block home, so. Mm -hmm. There's a moose in Florida. Did you see the moose? No. Right there by that tree. Oh, I see it. I have hmm. to really look. You wouldn't be much of a hunter, would you? Still without power. Yeah. They're generators. Mm. They got power, there's light on there.
generators in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once that stuff gets wet, it's no good no more. Some Jaguar. Yeah. I'm I'm sad and I don't even know these people. Yeah. I, I'm grateful for us, but I'm sad. I've been empty for, for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I'm grateful too that mm -hmm. we have what we got and we're where we are, you know, mm -hmm. in a in a safe place. I mean the only thing we gotta worry about is some trees. Yeah. You know, so, because, you know, we had some high winds, but it didn't really bother us too much, because no. we're on a hillside, no. mm -hmm. and it just, the wind just kind of goes over the top of us, but at the same time, when it does, you know, it's putting pressure on them trees, mm -hmm. but we pretty much got the weakest ones down, there's still a couple of things that need to be cut, but, uh, yeah, we're very fortunate. And we want to get a place on the water, but you know, this is the stuff you know Just going gonna, into it that you know you have to deal with. That you might have to deal with. Are you willing to deal with that? And like the insurance, you just you can't just buy flood insurance. You got to buy flood insurance and storm surge insurance. Because if it's a storm surge that floods you, they won't cover you. You don't have the storm surge insurance. And a lot of people don't know that. Like I said, you know, you gotta have fire insurance, homeowners insurance, flood insurance, storm surge insurance, and hurricane insurance. Right or left? Oh no. Go right. Okay guys, so we stopped here at Coney Island. I think I filmed this before, but it's cool. General Motors truck. GMC. And neat. <laughs> Those stacks are dummy pipes. PVC pipe painted silver. Oh, I didn't know they had wings. I would have had to give you some wings. She went into the 
Damn, Bruno. He went, she went in to order for us. It's cool. I have a couple tractors. One around back looks like it can run. This one, of course, is a fake. Well, it's a real tractor, but it's made to look like it's got a blown Hemi in it. <laughs> hey, these are all dummies. <laughs> these zoomies are dummies. But, still got the engine in it, that, the original engine. Massey Harris. Pretty cool. Then they've got an international around back. Right there, international harvester. Which is a formal. That's one I said that, come on Bruno. Uh, I said it looks like it'll run. Cool tricycle front end on that one. All right, we'll go up here and wait on Monk. Check this table out. It's a real engine. That's a Hemi. Crankshaft, pistons, rods, valves. Pretty cool. That's a blower. Pretty neat. Okay, guys, we're going to head to the house. If I see anything, I'll turn you back on. If not, uh, I'll do my outro at the house. Yeah, I, I just think that's stupid. Like down here, when you get hurricane insurance, that might cover a swing set that blew over or, you know, some shingles that blew off your roof. But. If you get water damage on your ceiling or walls or floor because the shingles blew off, if you don't have water damage insurance, because they won't pay for it for flood because it wasn't a flood, they won't pay for it because it wasn't storm surge. You have to have water damage insurance as well. I forgot to mention that. It's ridiculous, you know. It's water damage. It's just like a, a flood. I don't care. If it was caused from a storm surge, it's still a flood. It doesn't matter what caused it. You know, it's stupid. It is very stupid. It's just a way to build people, you know, that want to try to live in nice areas and stuff. It's just a way to build them out of more money. And, and that's not right. You know, water damage insurance. Well, you know, if you don't have flood insurance or um, storm surge insurance, but you have water damage insurance and you do get a flood from a storm surge they won't pay for it because you didn't have the storm surge insurance with the flood insurance so I gotta get my seatbelt on alright I'll be back with you might need that phone number for later
their hands up. Yeah. A bunch of scrap in the back. Maybe they're stealing scrap. I don't know. Okay, everyone. We're back home. So, I had a good drive. Been out for a few hours. I'm on. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. So we're going to go in now, I'm going to edit this video and get it dropped for you and tomorrow I'm going to get up on the roof and um, blow that off with the blower and I guess Saturday we're going to do some burning in the backyard, I'll film some of that for you. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Thanks Monk. You're welcome babe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend, I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys. Take care.